Talking to the moon, trying to get to you. Talking to the moon, trying to get to you. That's the little song I be singing with my grandbaby. She taught me that song. I don't know what artist that is. She likes to sing that song. Talking to the moon, trying to get to. And so what she, what, what, what I do when, when she watches my face, the kids are so, you know, I go hard for the kids as y'all already know. But I was saying when she watches my expressions, and if y'all go back and look at some of my older videos when she was just a baby and I would sing before YouTube started all this stuff. She would stare so pensively at me. And because I know, listen, listen, I know there is no perfect parent out there, y'all. I'm I'm not trying to say that you're not. But I just want you to be aware from the zero to six years old stage because it is so important. It is the most important stages, actually, that you can probably, and don't get me wrong, all stages are important, but that stage is so significant in a child's life, zero to six years old, that it's, it's, it's unbelievable. So even the songs that I sang to her when she was a little baby, that she had no idea what the heck I was singing. Go back and look at some of the videos. She'd be looking in my face like, and she was like maybe two months, a month, just a little bitty thing, three months, four months, all the way up, and um, of course, until YouTube changed the rules. But now, you know, she's a, a schooler. You know, she's like, what, six years old now. And so it's amazing to me because all the songs that I sang back there that she had no idea what I was singing, she can sing them back to me. When she hears me singing them, she sings them. That's how much you know that it's in them. What you put in at that age is so important. So a lot of times as grandparents, a lot of us, I'm not in that situation, but I know a lot of us are in a situation where we have to raise our grandchildren 24-7. And that can be very difficult because that's not the stage that you're in in life. And each stage has a significant important role in your development. So, um, you know, I want to make this video for those uh, grandmothers that I know that are out there raising their kids' kid. I don't think people give that enough um, thought you think it's just, oh, that's just natural. That's what's supposed to happen. Mm, not necessarily. That's not what's supposed to happen. Not not necessarily. We should not have created a, a society and um where you have to do that. You, you get what I'm saying? Um, because a lot of our kids got off on the left foot, a lot of them um, had their kids taken away from them because of uh, nefarious behavior. And as opposed to you letting your grandchildren go into the system, you took them into your home. So you might not have wanted to uh, 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 necessarily do that, but you were put in a position that you had to do it. I, you know, I used to have a friend that told me, she was so funny. She said, um, she not she won't she not gonna do it, and I said you mean tell me you gonna let your uh your grandbabies go now see I think a lot of that has to do too the age that you are when you have children because if you a person um 
I don't know that's been having children a lot. Sometimes maybe that's where you think. I don't know. She said, listen, I will have to go and visit them in foster care because like, I ain't going to be able to do it. I ain't going to be able to do it. And that's, she was extremely serious. Therefore, her children, no matter how bad a parent they were, her um she didn't and I'm laughing about it, but it's 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 really in my sickness that I, I you know, I was like, this is not cool. Okay, and it was in my sickness that I I was in engulfed in the madness. Okay? Because it it was comfortable because I didn't want to you see what I mean? And that's what happens a lot of times and that we don't want to admit. We don't want to admit it. Well, however, I was forced to get away from this situation because I'm a mandated, I was a mandated reporter. And because I was running um, a, 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 a facility that had to do with children being removed from messed up situations, it, it doesn't look very good to you know, have somebody from your past, way, way, way in your past that you're dealing with that has that kind of mindset about their grandchildren. In my, I mean, however honest. Um, and that's truly how I feel about it. Now, y'all can leave me y'all opinions down below because at the end of the day, if I'm responsible for a person being on earth, if my um, I, I'm responsible. My actions created their mother or their father, and this is their offspring. In my opinion, there's no way I can absolve myself. See, now a lot of you know, I know to each his own. And that, that's a good discussion because when you really think about it, you got so many grandparents raising their grandkids, right? A lot of them may, don't want to do it, but they do it. Why do they do it? Are they forced to do it? Or do they feel just what I said? Um, I, I'm compelled to do it because if it wasn't for their mama, I, if it wasn't for me, they wouldn't be on the planet. Yes, that's true. I didn't have to lay down and have them. If it wasn't for me, they would not exist. So with that train of thought, you have to be like, wow, in my, in my opinion. But I want to know what y'all think. OK, because this conversation came up today and, um, you know, the, you know, the responses you get sometimes in some of these groups uh, is just incredible. But I want to know how y'all think. Leave your comments below. What do you think? Or are you in that situation? Are your is your is your mama raising your children for whatever reason? What do you feel about that? Has this has, you know, have they taken your children? The county taking your children, wanting to put them in foster care, but your mama said, no, 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 no. I'm not going to let my grandbabies go in foster care. I have a cousin, um, uh, 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 you know, who, 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 whose mom raised her two kids because of that same, that situation. Because this is the kind of stuff that go on in the community, you know, we don't want no healing from. You know, it's nothing to be ashamed of is really something to talk about. Well, anyway, I've said enough. Y'all tell me what y'all think below. I'll see you in the next video. If you like what you hear, please like, please like, please like, please share and subscribe. Subscribe and hit the notification button where it says all, and that way you'll be notified of any video that I drop. Thank you very much, and y'all have a wonderful, wonderful